Dom here, welcome. Yesterday I put up a post and it simply said why I do the things that I do in a certain order. And we used three different uh, terms. One is what we call mobilize, one is mentalize, and one is metabolize. And at the end of the day, it's just my way, M being McStraw, for me to bring in three things. One is mobilize. That's the training, the activity, the working out, the exercising, the movement, the getting your steps in. For me, that is first. We're not jumping into diets. We're not crashing systems. We're not effing up metabolisms. We're starting with, you've been sitting on the sidelines for a while. It's time for you to get off. You're the first sub. Get on there. Nothing worse than being the first sub and going for a spin and bang, twing, there goes the hammy. So I want you to get off the sidelines, number one. And we're going to start by doing a couple of things. We're going to walk. Right, don't do the couch to 5K. I mean, if you haven't even walked 5K, let's just start there first. So the working out thing, that is first for me. The second thing, and it's not food. It ain't nutrition. That's, mo that's the metabolized thing. Next one is the mentalized. This is the thing up, up here. Make what's up here happen. That's the thing. You might call it grit. You might call it mental toughness. You might call it resilience doesn't make a difference what name you give it but you and I both understand it means that up here up here will determine how much we keep going when do we give up what happens if we give up we miss a day big deal get on the horse the next day mentalize for me is a big thing and it's not about becoming a mental guru we're not taking in goggins because all of you guys so actually some of you guys tend to get him wrong but he's saying the same thing it's up here up here will determine far more than anything else as to whether you're going to keep going, whether you're going to slip, take a sidestep, fall back, progress, give up, go back on the couch. Mental. There are some physical elements, but most of it is mental. Because even if you did fall, slip, trip, break a hip, you would find a way to get back. Because you can still got an upper body. You can still do some upper body. You can still do some trunk. You can still do some core. you got crutches. You can still get around the block and get your steps. But it will just take you a little bit longer. So mentalize is the second one. And the third one, what I call metabolize, because we all talk about metabolism, because it's a big sound, sexy word. But at the end of the day, it's the food thing. I simply want the food thing to be last. Why is it last? Because I see too many people jumping into diets. They're like playing a game of Frogger. For those of you old enough, you remember Frogger? Up, across, up, across, sidestep, back, back, da da da. You understand what I mean? You're jumping into diets and it doesn't work because you haven't given it more than two or three days. Suddenly your gut's being up, sub. Suddenly your, your poo is a different color or it is just gully gusher. Because the food thing is a lot more than what these Instagram, social media influencers tell you. It's a lot more than that. You don't just go calculate, calculate, here is my baseline. Because the reality is you and me are both different. You and I can both be the same weight, the same height, the same level of activity. But your BMR or your baseline or your maintenance level, you and I, we could be fundamentally different by a couple of hundred calories. Simply because of how our body will digest the food. Fundamentally, we're about the same, but we could be different. I could be a person working on strength, therefore I'm higher on the protein, and I'm going through a gain, so therefore I'm going to eat a bit more calories, I'm going to eat in a surplus, whereas a lot of people, it's in the deficit. Man, you're probably already in a deficit, or you're at that other end of the extreme that just stopping eating the shit out of a packet is what will help you get down to maintenance, and then you're still in a deficit from all the crap that you've had before. And also, why do I keep it last? Because if I get the movement thing right, if I get the steps thing right, if I get my sleep right, if I get my recovery right, if I get a load to listen to my body, and I get the space between this ear and that ear set, and I do this, Day after day, weeks into months, into years. Because at the end of the day, it's taking me that long to get here in the first place. It ain't going to happen in 28 days. Actually, maybe it will. Cut a leg off. 
But what I want for you is I want you to play the long game. Yes, I've used phrases, live longer, stronger, athletic, strong, anti-fragile, play the long game, do the basics, da 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 Doesn't make a difference, but you get the drift. You're in this for the long haul. It's like someone coming to me and saying, Dom, I'm going to train for a marathon. Can you train me? And they turn out they've got a broken leg. Well, that ain't going to work. So I put the food thing last because when I get all the others and then I start to see some results and we start to feel better in ourselves and who gives a shit about the weight of the scale but if people start their clothes start to feel a bit better and they've got a bit more confidence then they'll have the confidence to know that when they do eat properly they're doing it for the right reasons. That's it.